Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Got one that I've wanted for a long time today, finally got it. From the TV show Ultraman Nexus, we have Dark Faust. Now she was pretty cool, she was, I think, the first Dark Giant Ultraman Nexus fought. Um, and she had all this mind control stuff going on, and it was a big complicated story, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Plus, you know, lots of you... I've probably already seen Ultraman Nexus anyways, which is why you're interested in this figure review. Whatever, or you just want to know about some cool Ultraman figures. So I'm just going to talk about the figure, which is normally a pretty expensive figure. But I got this real cheap on eBay, like real cheap. Like $10, maybe $15 with shipping and stuff. Uh, fantastic deal. It's got a few uh, bumps and bruises on it. But, like, nothing real totally noticeable. Like, you can see that little silver scratch on the black there. But, I mean, it really looks good. She is a good-looking figure. Yes, Dark Faust is a lady. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but she's uh, kind of rare. So, I'm pretty happy to have her in my collection. Now I have all three of the Dark Giants from Nexus. So, that's pretty awesome. Um, articulation. Rotation on each arm, rotation on the waist, exactly what you would expect. Um, detail and paint looks pretty good. Always kind of liked her horns, and she's got the same dark eyes and dark color timer that Dark Mephisto have, has, sorry. Dark Zoggy's got, like, kind of reddish ones, but uh, Dark Faust and Dark Mephisto have black ones. Some gold, you know, it's kind of like a half black, half red thing she's got going on. I like all the silver. Fully painted on the back. With that classic ultra spine to hide the zipper. You know, those feet just scream Faust. You think Faust, you think of a bit more of an elfin kind of uh, Satan. And the pointed ears and curled toe shoes really kind of push that image. So, yeah, pretty cool looking figure. Now let's see how Dark Faust scales with other kaiju figures. Uh, first up, a kaiju monster. Here's a DX from Ultraman Orb, Maga Japa. They look nice together, I think. That's fun. That's real fun. So. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Uh, let me move my laptop. I had it sitting here so I could look at G&G &G questions while I filmed that. Because, you know, G&G &G is all improv. Uh, now to compare Dark Faust with another Ultra. I don't have any of my Nexus figures on handy. I have a few of them, but I don't have any uh, next to me at my review station. So here's one that's always relevant. The original Ultraman from the 2009 Ultra Hero series. And obviously Ultra 500s would be a little shorter. Uh, to compare with a Godzilla monster, I haven't shown a Bandai creation in a long time. I've been showing lots of... Uh, NECA Godzilla's in my reviews for size comparisons, but here's another one you guys might have. It is the re-sculpt of the Bandai Creations 1954 Godzilla. <laughs> okay, let's get that out of there. And now for a Godzilla monster. Uh, I don't want to show another Bandai Creation. So how about a YMSF? Here's one of my few YMSFs. Gorosaurus Type B from King Kong Escapes. But Gorosaurus has actually had more Godzilla appearances than King Kong appearances. Even though it's originally a King Kong monster. So that's that. Gorosaurus is kind of hunched forward a bit. So, like you see, standing up straight, you know. It's whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not the type that checks their sizes on the fucking wiki. And then compares the exact sizes to see how accurate it is. I just want them to look cool together, you know. So that's it for size comparisons. So all in all, what are my whew, final thoughts on the Dark Faust figure from Bandai Japan and Ultraman Nexus? Pretty cool. You know, I get all the evil ultras I can get. Uh, this is like an artificially created dark giant from Dark Zagi who is a clone. So not as much of an ultra as, say, Belial, but still pretty ultra. Um... And she is really cool in the show. She's a really cool figure. So if you want her, try to find her for cheap. You know, you don't want to end up paying like 70 bucks or something for a new one. I wouldn't. And I didn't. 
That's why I got this one cheap on eBay. This was actually the only one on eBay at the time, or at least the only one under the title Dark Faust. The only, the only one in English, at least. I don't know. Fuck me. But uh, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. That is it. Thank you all once again for your support, and I'll see you all later. Bye.